Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. We have a special guest with us, Dave Reinitz. Hilarious comedian Dave Reinitz is here with the miserable liberal and Ron Placone. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. So uh, what is one of my favorite headlines? So you know what's going on. They're trying to get a war in Iran, right? When I say they, I mean the military industrial complex, uh, Saudi Arabia, Israel. They want a war with Iran. And they're going to get it. I bet you any money they're going to get it. They got the war in Iraq. They got the war in Afghanistan. They got the war in Libya. They got the war in Syria. They got the war in um, Yemen. They got the war in Niger. How many more wars do you guys want? We're also drone bombing in Pakistan. Got that war. Um, so, and Israel is getting everything it seems to want. It's from, from everybody, <laughs> meaning the United States. Uh Here's a Reuters. This is a Reuters tweeted this out. This is a Reuters headline. Reuters says Iran and Israel call each other nuclear threats, ask the UN to take action. So um, apparently Reuters not sure who has nukes and who doesn't. (laughs) (laughs) I know who has the nukes. Reuters, not clear. Still, it's like, ah, yeah. well, Netanyahu says that they have nukes and we have to believe him because, you know, he's never lied before. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is, uh, you know, the United States and Israel are usually on the same page. The rest of the world, not so much, but we don't we don't <laughs> talk about that. Uh, here's from Reuters. Here's, here's the article. Israeli Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu used a visit to a secretive Israeli atomic reactor, a secret Israeli atomic reactor in August to warn the country's enemies that it has the means to destroy them in what appeared to be a reference to its assumed nuclear arsenal. So I've heard people say they have 200 nukes, Israel. We don't know because it's secret. Right, but how how secret is this Israeli atomic article? If the you know the prime right? minister goes there with and reporters. Reuters figures it <laughs> and out, right? It's not a secret. If Reuters what a weird way it. to spend a weekend too. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going for a visit to remind my enemies they're screwed. Like, okay, buddy, you <laughs> but it's a secret. That. That's... Uh, so here's more to this article. The United Nations members should not turn a blind eye to these threats and must take firm actions to eliminate all Israeli nuclear weapons. That's Iran's ambassador to the United Nations, uh, Golamli Akashru. He said in letters to the U.N. Secretary General and the Security Council, and was quoted as saying by FARS News Agency, that the United Nations members should not turn a blind eye to the threats from Israel. And, uh, well, he asked the United Nations to force Israel to join the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and bring its nuclear program under supervision of the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, a UN atomic watchdog. So what Iran is doing is saying, hey, we want the UN to, to oversee this, what's going on with Israel. Have them come into the rest of the world who that signed the non-proliferation, nuclear non-proliferation, have them join the... Re- so Iran is asking for normal stuff that is normal, that you would think. And they're asking from the only place they can get any kind of help. Is the UN. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in a statement on Thursday, Director General Z. Sneer said, we cannot ignore the repeated and explicit threats made by Iran and its proxies to attack Israel's nuclear sites. These outrageous threats require Israel to take immediate action and continue to protect and defend its nuclear facilities. You guys have nuclear weapons. Iran doesn't. Iran actually entered into a nuclear nonproliferation deal. You guys didn't. But it gets reported by Reuters like, well, they said this, they said that. Who's that? I guess we'll never know. A little bit more to this article. Here's the last. Since, listen, this is my favorite part. This They put this in this article. Why would they put this in this article? Since its 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran has called for Israel's destruction. Tehran backs the Lebanese militia Hezbollah and the Palestinian Islamist movement Hamas. Its reinforcement of Damascus during Syria's civil war is seen by the Netanyahu government as a further Iranian deployment on Israeli's borders. 
Why would you put all this? And what is the F? Why wouldn't you put um, all year Israeli has been murdering medics and civilians who are protesting an open air prison in an apartheid state? You could put that in there, too. They didn't. But they put all that stuff in there. Isn't that funny? Did anyone else notice that? That that's I saw when I read this, I'm like, well, how is Reuters going to shade this towards uh, Israel? Well, they already did by saying that. Uh, well, we don't. Israel says this. Iran says that. They're both equally bad. One has nukes. One doesn't. One signed a nuke treaty. Another one didn't. One's murdering innocent people in on broad daylight on camera. They didn't put that in there. So this is how you get your war with Iran. This is how you get your war with Iran, and Reuters is doing its job a little bit right here. This is how you get your war with Iran. Iran's a threat, just like all of a sudden Saddam Hussein was a threat. Out of nowhere, Saddam Hussein was a threat. Same thing, Libya, Gaddafi, we got to get rid of him. He's a threat. We got to get rid of him. Assad, we got to get rid of him. And here we go. Now, they're just inventing this. So these are wars of choice, and we're doing that, again, at the behest of Saudi Arabia, the military-industrial complex, and Israel. Same reason why we're in Syria. Same reason we did Libya. I'll, I'll throw it over to my panel. Um, what any, any thoughts on this story? Well, you know, immediately when you see the, uh, the segment where you're saying 1979 Islamic Revolution, right. I'm just like, okay, so you're going to give me a history lesson and you're going to show me how, what? What are you going to show me? Obviously, you're showing me how, well... You know, Israel should be a threat to Iran. It's Come a, on. Yeah, it's a dog whistle. Like, remember they took the hostages in yes. 1979? Yes. That, that's yeah. all it is. It's, 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 it's like you said, it's Reuters is twisting the, twisting the coverage to, to create a specific point of view, which is what the media does for the military-industrial complex. They're the mouthpiece, and they create the public consent or the lack of public outrage that allows these wars to take place. What's interesting, too, Dave, is you're talking about they're going to give you a little history lesson. What's interesting is where they start history. Yes, yes exactly. Mm. Everybody knows. They history start history in, in 1979, Islamic Revolution. <laughs> wow. Why didn't you start it in 1954 with the CIA coup of a democratically elected Mossadegh? Why don't you start there? Because we overthrew. They had a democratically elected government in, in, in Iran, and they wanted, and he wanted to export democracy around the Middle East. Well, guess who doesn't want democracy? The CIA and American capitalists because they're a lot harder to control. So we decided to spread Wahhabism. We decided to overthrow the democratically elected Mossadegh in Iran. And we installed a puppet called the Shah, who was a, 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 a oppressive dictator. And, uh, uh, and, and guess what you got out of that? Then you got the Islamic Revolution, which was a reaction to the United States overthrowing their government in 1954. Or 55, whenever that happened. At least we didn't meddle in their elections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we didn't do any Facebook memes. <laughs> yeah, there was none we, of just, that. we just went ahead and overthrew their democratically elected government, installed a puppet, the Shah, which led to this. So do you, you never get tired of this story? This is how it works. And everybody, by the way, everybody in the Middle East knows how this works. The only people who don't know how this works is the American citizens who vote for the people who keep doing this. And so we're going to get a war with Iran. We overthrew their government again when it was democratically elected. And now we're going to try and get a war again. So that's what this is. By the way, Iran actually has elections. Uh, Saudi Arabia doesn't. We're in bed with Saudi Arabia. Iran, I'm not saying they're a great government. Uh, they're more democratic than Saudi Arabia. Um, and Perhaps I don't know if South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Ron, anything? I just think, yeah, like you guys were saying, it's really, you know, they're stretching to kind of make it an equal playing field between yeah. Iran and Israel mm -hmm. when they got to go. Well, remember, Iran talked smack in 1979. Right. It's like when you got to go that far back. So there, here you are again. Uh, that's This is the media enabling uh, war. This is the media not being critical. This is the media. Re hey, maybe Iran has nuclear weapon. Maybe they are a threat. Okay, uh, now you know why people get their news from YouTube. 
please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are subscribed, there's a good chance you're not. So please check. It only takes a second. And then click that bell. And that's how you know you'll get a notice every time we drop a video. They still won't notify you every time we drop a video, but that's the best we can do. Plus, if you like the show, you want to support it, please become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And come see a live show. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for our live schedule. (laughs) 